I am Quincy Booth, the director for the DC Department of Corrections. I'm not new to the agency. I've been working with the agency for over a decade and intimately for five plus years. And so it uniquely prepared me for this position. At the DC Department of Corrections, we are responsible for the detention of men and women that are in our custody, both pretrial and sentence inmates. We have to always stick to the basic and, and ensure that we are providing a safe, humane environment for the men and women that come into our care. Correcting behavior is really understanding what the problem is, and we call that a risk and needs assessment. And so understanding the risk and the needs that this individual has, and then creating a reentry plan uh, for them. That's important for us to connect them to meaningful opportunities from housing to employment, to just life skills that in some cases, some of the men and women, uh, they may be lacking or just need a refresher in those areas. We're always improving the process is that when men and women leave out of our custody, they will physically go to a location uh, to get connected to the services that we talked about earlier. They'll have an opportunity to connect with staff members of those respective organizations to make those connections. There's always a negative image of corrections out in the community as, you know, just lock them up and throw away the key. But for the majority of the people that are in our care are people of color. Also, the majority of the people that work there are also people of color. And so for them, it's an emotional connection. We take care of the inmates. Um, that is our responsibility, but we also take care of each other. And so investing in professional development for staff, uh, regardless of the position, is something that's near and dear to me. I need to ensure that I provide a platform for the men and women that work there, not just the officers, everyone, so that they can, one, relieve stress, two, talk about it, um, and three, develop a plan so they can be as effective as possible in their day-to-day -day operations. I'm inspired because the mayor has a, a vision of, one, making this a safe city and making sure that we're a stronger city. And I know that this plays a part in it because, again, if we don't do anything while people are in our care, um, we're not doing what we actually need to do, and I just want to ensure that we're doing that piece of the puzzle. I have a simple motto, we don't want you coming back. I don't want you coming here in the first place, but by and large, I don't want the men and women that come into our care uh, to come back 